I want you to guess how many products I have in my inventory right now. This is what we are gonna be dealing with today. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bins of stuff. Plus, I'm looking at more stuff over here. I mean, th this room is just filled with, you know, there's a box over there. There's my lighting, but there's also more stuff over there. There's a lot. I want you to comment down below right now how many items you think I have in my crochet inventory for my fall season. I honestly don't even know what to guess right now. I've been accumulating so much stuff, just been on such a role market prepping, doing my favorite part ever, which is crocheting all the things. And now I need to get to getting it all ready to be sold for my busy market season coming up here. So in today's video, we are going to be counting all of this. We are gonna see how much we have in my inventory. So it should be pretty fun and let's just get started. Okay, so to be fair, I do have a couple bins that don't have product in them. This is just like supplies stuff, but there's product up there, product, more product, product, <laughs> lots of chickens, product, 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 more product. Oh, I see some snowmen in there. Is this whips? Okay, wait a second. It said whips, but a lot of this stuff is finished. We will have to organize through that and see, I guess. I have this Amazon box full of pumpkins. I ran out of bins, so I had to use a box. And yes, this is a box that this yarn came in. <laughs> So it was perfect. I put a bunch of pumpkins in there. These still need priced, but I don't know if we'll be pricing today. We might just be counting everything because there's a lot. Like I said, there's more over here. We've got this. So we priced and tagged all of this in my last vlog, but there's just so many and they need organized. And if you can't tell, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. So I think it will feel good to get everything organized in today's video. But before we get started, I just wanted to say, hey, hey, hey makers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron and I run my own crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations where I sell at craft shows and we're actually coming up on my super busy fall craft show season. So I will be taking all this inventory. This isn't just for one show. This is hopefully going to last me throughout the fall season where I have a lot of shows coming up. I'll share more details about those in today's vlog, but let's just get started. I don't know what I'm even gonna do. You know, when you're just like looking at such a huge project. I think we need to kind of break this up into smaller steps. I think the first thing is just get all these bins out here in the main area and start looking at what's inside. So let's do it. Oh, and if you're not subscribed already, definitely subscribe down below because I have a ton of market vlogs coming up. I've been doing this market prep vlog series leading up to my busy season where I'm gonna be vlogging all of my shows and sharing all the behind the scenes, tips and tricks, everything that you wanna know to sell more at your shows as well. So anyways, I just thought I would mention that before we got started. Anyways, let's get to organizing. I'm a little bit nervous, but let's do it. <laughs> and setting those aside from wearables. Like plushies and wearables should be separate as I'm organizing through this um, as a first step. I think we're gonna do that first. All right, this is a lot more than I thought. I'm actually feeling good about my inventory right now, but um, it's just a lot to, to organize. I wish I was organizing while adding it to my inventory, but lesson learned for next year. All right, let's do this. over here. I've got one, two, well, like one, two, three, no, like one, two, three, four, five, and more bins of stuff for wearables, which I think I'm going to get started with counting the wearable stuff because it feels a little more overwhelming to me right now. And the plushies sound kind of more fun to count. By the way, I am kind of classifying my pumpkins as plushies for this. So I've got pumpkins, trees, animals all on this side of the craft room. This side of the craft room, we've got wearables, decor, other decor stuff, or like small accessory stuff, like scrunchies, things like that. Okay, so what we're gonna start doing is counting through this stuff first. I think what I'm gonna do, let, let, let's touch base. 
I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get a piece of paper out, write the product, write the color, write how many I have. I'm gonna upload it all to my spreadsheets and make it all pretty and track all of it, you know, after this, but I just need to get it all written down on a piece of paper and I think that's gonna be the best way to get this done right now. So we are gonna just start getting through these bins, writing down what the item is, how many I have of it in each color. So, oh my goodness, this feels like a lot, but I'm glad you're hanging out with me here. I'm glad we're doing this together. I hope that you have something that you're working on in today's video as well, and we can be productive together and make this season the best one yet. <laughs> Even when it feels overwhelming, I always just remind myself that I feel, you know, so blessed to be able to do this and I really have fun doing it. Even when it is a little, a little chaotic in here, you know, I've got Got all sorts of stuff happening over here, but we've got this. Let's see how much we've got in the inventory. change out of my jeans into sweatpants because I'm at home and it feels weird to be wearing jeans when you're just hanging out at home. I don't know about you. I know some people like jeans and they think they're comfortable. I'm not one of those people. I'm a sweatpants or leggings kind of girl at home. So I hope you don't mind. I got a little cozy <laughs> and I got all of that figured out. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. I'm actually really proud because I recently switched to this new way of organizing my inventory where I have labels for everything. And I actually just got these little labels off of, well, no, I ordered the little labels. I didn't even order them. I, I went into the dollar store. So those are just dollar store labels. And I have a ton of them that I put on like, honestly, a lot of stuff. Um, like around here, my whole craft room is organized with these little labels but I was really proud of myself for putting these labels on these bins instead of doing what I originally was gonna do and cut out pretty labels for all these bins. For example, that said newborn and slap it on all these bins. Because here's the thing, my inventory is always changing. And as I go through and reorganize stuff, like sometimes I have more adult sizes. Sometimes like right now I have a ton of newborn sizes. So it made most sense that I could wipe these off and replace it really easily, which is just a chalk pen and the chalk pen it stays on there pretty good as you can see like it won't wipe off or anything once you get it on there you'll just get like a wet paper towel when you're ready to replace what it says on there but anyways dollar store you get like a ton of these stickers in a pack um you can also just get the paper i think you can just get like what is this called blackboard or chalkboard paper and just put little labels on your bins there is a tip for you that i wish i did sooner it's so nice knowing what's in what bin and it's just a great way to visualize what you had as well <laughs> without like rummaging through all of your bins it's nice to feel organized so anyways this is what we've got we've got a bin down here which is baby and toddler sizes two bins of newborn sizes we've got adult sizes and random stuff i've got some pillows in there and then as you can see here i have smaller bins that are organizing my bows scrunchies and keychains in there as well by the way i got all these bins at target i probably got them like four or five months ago now so in 2024 definitely check them out. They're great bins, great quality. They weren't too bad of a price. Uh, my favorite bins ever are actually the Costco bins, <laughs> the black ones with the yellow lids. Those ones are our favorites and our storage is full of those Costco bins. The reason being they're like a really great deal and really sturdy, but I wanted cute ones for the markets. Plus I wanted to be able to see inside. That is so helpful when you're setting up at shows and knowing, you know, you have the labels, but knowing, oh yeah, those colors are in this bin and being able to just be more efficient that way. 
so anyways I just wanted to show you that I'm like it's not like that great of an idea but I'm so proud of myself for the labels I just feel like it makes it way more streamlined way more organized and I'm feeling good about it but now <laughs> we're gonna deal with this situation which is plushie central we've got all sorts of plushies I also included like in my plushies is you know like pumpkins and things like that because they're just like actual, oh my gosh, the cinnamon stick is like falling apart. Okay, I need to replace that one. <laughs> but yeah, here are my plushies we're gonna work through. Got lots of ghosts, chickens. I've got a couple of trees and oh, I just love these pumpkins. By the way, this yarn is the fossil yarn from Woolies. The fossil is the color and it's Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. So pretty for these pumpkins. And I also have free pumpkin patterns. So definitely check those out. I will link them down below. But yeah, <laughs> let's start getting through some of these now. And I've been writing down all the rest of the inventory. At the end of today's video, I'll definitely go through this with you and let you know how much I have of everything that I'm bringing to my season. But anyways, <laughs> let's uh, continue going through all of this. Before we move on to organizing through our plushies, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a minute, you probably already know how much I love Skillshare, but I wanna tell you about this class that I've been taking recently because I have been getting so, so, into scrapbooking. I kind of want to use this sponsor as like an excuse to show off my scrapbooking skills. So here it is. So the class that I recently took is called Introduction to Creative Art, Junk Travel Plus Bullet Journaling and Scrapbooking and just everything you need to know on how to get started with it. I've taken another class on this before, which was really great, but I just wanted to continue learning more about scrapbooks and the different layouts and all the things because I've been trying to be more intentional about putting my memories onto paper and not just keeping it digital all the time. And that has been really fun for me. I learned so much in this class that I'll share with you in a moment here. But before that, I just wanted to take a second to tell you what Skillshare is if you haven't heard of them yet. Skillshare is the ultimate online learning community for creative people like us. They offer thousands of classes led by industry professionals across so many different types of fields. Honestly, whenever I want to learn something new, I just go to Skillshare. <laughs> There's film, illustration, design, freelancing, productivity, and of course my recent favorite has been the scrapbooking section. This recent scrapbooking class I've been taking, I have been learning so much. I'm getting inspiration about the different layouts I can do with my designs. And and I also really loved learning about the travel journaling part in this class as well. I've been really wanting to travel more and I'm already picturing Peyton and I going on a vacation somewhere and I'm taking all these pictures and saving all of the receipts and like the tickets and everything to actually scrapbook, which I got a lot of inspiration about in this class. Okay, so here's the best part. Skillshare is offering the first 500 people to click my link in the description a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you'll be able to take some of these classes I've been talking about, find some things that you've been wanting to learn for a while and really start investing in your skills and hobbies and all the things that you want to learn. Also, there's a lot of crochet stuff on there. So just saying. Anyways, I would love for you to join me over on Skillshare. It has been a lot of fun working with them and they've been a great sponsor of this channel. So supporting Skillshare also supports this channel and I'm so, so appreciative appreciative and it's also just a great platform. I only work with sponsors that I absolutely love and actually use myself. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the inventory that we need to get through which is looking like a lot more right now but we've got this. All right let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start organizing through my bin stack here. This is already pretty organized. I've got like five chickens in this bin, so definitely can add something else to this bin here. You know what I realized? I only have three bees and they're blue. And I think I need to make some actual just like yellow and black bees. And I also think I'm gonna raise the price to $14 on my bees because they sell so fast at $12. I can never keep them in stock. And I just recently raised the price to my ghost to $14 and they're about the same size. And I feel like it would be fair to raise these to 14 as well. So I'm gonna set these bees aside for now because I think I'm gonna reprice them and I'll still write them down on my inventory. Anyways, that's just a little something I've been thinking of. <laughs> 
as I go through some of my bins here, I wanted to chat about my upcoming fall season. If you don't know, my fall season is usually the busiest season for me with my craft shows. And I usually book so many shows. Usually it's every weekend. But this year, I actually am taking a bit of a step back, at least in my fall season, because super exciting, my brother is getting married and I wanted to be there for that. I did not want all of my weekends to go to doing markets. Uh, just when the wedding was going on, I wasn't gonna do a market on the day of the wedding or honestly the day after. I did end up canceling the one that I had for the day after. Just enough ahead of time, I, the coordinator was not upset. It wasn't like a last second thing. He doesn't get married for another month. But anyways, decided to do that because I just, I don't know, I wanna be there for the wedding and I wanna be present. And I have a hard time balancing work and life. And sometimes I definitely overdo the work stuff. And I just realized I can do really well in the markets I signed up for and I signed up for a huge show in November like a huge one I don't know this might be one of the biggest shows I've ever done and it's at the fairgrounds and there's supposed to be a ton of people that come I'm a little nervous for that one and so I feel like I made the right decision by actually cutting back and doing a few less shows this season this fall season and hopefully I I mean, it's a weird thing to hope for, but I hope I don't completely sell out of my inventory and have absolutely nothing for this last show. But at the same time, I wanna sell stuff. So it's kind of a weird balance there when you're trying to figure out what you want to sell and what you want to, you know, hold on to. I always bring all my inventory. I put as much out as I can and I'm not gonna say no to sales in the present moment, just like holding off and in case I need them for a future show. I put it out, whatever sells, sells. And at, at the end of the season, if there's a little less inventory, it's okay. I I just have to kind of be like, it's fine. It's good to sell things. And sometimes my inventory is going to look a little bit lower. Right now it's looking pretty good though. So I'm hoping this will get me through my season. But yeah, my brother's getting married. I'm a bridesmaid. Peyton is a groomsman and we are so excited for them. His fiance is so darling. I love her so much. I only have one brother by the way. So this is a big deal for me. I don't have any sisters and I get to play on the bachelorette party with her. We're doing a whole bachelorette weekend and it's Mamma Mia themed, which I just watched Mamma Mia for the first time a couple months ago with a couple of my girlfriends and oh my goodness that was a funny movie I loved it <laughs> and I love the music so anyways I'm excited for that yeah just like personal stuff going on kind of a reminder you know this is a busy time of the year this is hectic it's moving into the holiday season we've got a lot of a lot of stuff going on and it's totally okay to take a step back from the business sometimes and do what works best for you stop comparing yourself to like what other people are doing on instagram this person's doing a million markets and i can only do two. Oh my gosh this person's inventory is so much more than mine you may even be looking at my inventory and comparing it to mine and i do not want this channel to turn into anything like that i've been really working hard on not comparing to other people and i want you to do the same like just focus on your own version of success wherever you are in this season of your life whether you're doing a every day this season or maybe you're just doing a couple whatever it is I want you to be proud of yourself you're doing this thing you're probably doing it mostly alone and making this stuff probably you're probably the only one crocheting this stuff unless you got your husband working for you which I tried to get Peyton to crochet he did like one chicken and we kept it because it was so cute but anyways um you're doing enough you're doing enough don't let the comparison game or looking at somebody else's stuff gets you down about where you're at especially my stuff i do this full time by the way and i have been building this inventory for months and i've also been doing this for five years so i have a really good gauge of what to make when to make it i have a pretty good flow so if you're looking at my inventory and feeling like you're behind please don't wherever you are is exactly where you need to be i have to remind myself the same things when i go on instagram and i see oh my gosh i cannot believe how many things this maker has made or how many markets they're doing or how many things they're selling but as long as we can focus on what we're doing and if that's enough for us and we feel successful doing what we're doing then we should be happy with it we should celebrate that so anyways there's your reminder a little motivational reminder for you um i'm gonna go through and count some of these and see there's quite a few chickens in here i hope the chickens do well they have been doing well for me still but i know a lot of makers sell them i am doing shows where there's gonna be other crocheters at so we'll see but i do have a whole bin of them so they're coming with yeah let's get counting and i'll let you know how many we have at the end of today's vlog which is a lot of stuff <laughs> i still don't really know like the total number even though i have been going through and counting all this it feels like a lot so anyways let's do it All of my 
inventory in my bins and I had to bring it out here because there was just really not enough space in the craft room. There's other bins of whips in there. So there, it's like bin city in our apartment right now. <laughs> but, but I brought them out here in our living room so you can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bins worth of inventory. I was even able to get an empty bin available um, that I'm going to try to add some more plushies in. I think I want to do more bees and if I have time, more ghosts. And was there something else? Cows. I don't have any cows, but if I can make a couple, that'd be great. I don't know how many I'll be able to make, but if I can make some, that'd be awesome. The little chunky cows that I did at my last show. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun to go over exactly what I have in my inventory. I'll try to be pretty quick because there is a lot of stuff back here. Uh, just so you know, I am bringing this to a whole lot of shows I have coming up. So I have one in September and then I have, I think I have five in October, which are going to be big shows, hopefully crossing my fingers. And then I have one in uh, November, early November, or is it mid-November? I don't remember. I need to check the dates, but November and that one's like a huge show. So hopefully all of this will get me through at least my fall shows. I'll probably have to prep some more for that winter one, but we will see. Let's go through everything that I have. If you're interested in any of these patterns, I will try my best to link as many of them down below as possible. But if you ever have any questions, always just send me a DM on Instagram. I love chatting with you over there. And if we're not friends on Instagram yet, we should be. That's a good reminder that we should be friends over there. But anyways, let's go through here. I'm just getting more and more casual as this video goes on. I feel like we're besties on here. I feel like you're just, you know, hanging out with me. We're market prepping together. Hair is going up. Sweatpants are on. We're getting cozy. And now let's go through my inventory. Okay, 51 scrunchies, 10 bows. Uh, 18 keychains, and those are all of my $5 items. So I have quite a few scrunchies left. You could definitely make some more bows, definitely make some more keychains, but we will see if I get to that. <laughs> um, for the little baby booties, I have this size zero to three month, and I have 11 in pink, five in blue, and three in other colors. Those are like discontinued colors that I'm doing, and I just like to stick it in the other category. By the way, when I do my inventory, I usually, I didn't do this with my scrunchies and keychains, but I was being a little lazy. For the most part, most of the things I break down by color. Um, so that's why I did the booties pink, blue, and other. I, I just broke it down by color because I like to track what colors are actually selling. It helps me determine what I should make more of for my next shows. But anyways, let's see here. We've got newborn beanies, white. We've got nine of them. The cream color, which is my new favorite. It's like an off-white. I've got eight of those. Navy, five. Gray, ten. Quiet pink six, baby blue four, and purple two. That is all my newborn size for the velvet beanies. By the way, that is my pattern. If you saw those and thought they were cute, you can make them for yourself as well. I will link that pattern down below. It includes uh, all the sizes. So there's five different sizes, newborn, baby, toddler, child and adult. <laughs> Those are the sizes. And I also have a headband pattern and that is what I will be reading off next. These are the newborn headbands. I've got one in baby blue, one in green, six in white, four in gray, two in purple, two in quiet pink, four in light pink, and one in tan. Next, I've got a lot of inventory here. Bear hats. For the zero to three month size, I've got five in the baby blue, four in purple, one in white, seven in pink, and three in gray. I also have a three to six month size, which I have got nine in dark pink, two in multi pink, four in the fuzzy pink, which that yarn, the fuzzy one, does so well for me. I need to get more of it. I got it at Michael's. It's like the really soft fuzzy stuff. The softer the yarn, usually the better the item sells. I've also got four baby blankets and I also have a baby blanket pattern if you don't know. I'm just gonna link all my patterns down below and all the ones that I'm mentioning so it's easier for you. But yeah, I do have a baby blanket pattern as well with the Bernat Forever fleece. All right, we're moving on to adult headbands. I've got four in quiet pink, 10 in tan, two in purple, six in gray, five in white, and one in green. As far as the adult velvet beanies, I don't have as many as I normally do, but for the last couple of years, the newborn has been my top seller. So I've just kind of designated more time to do the newborn sizes stuff, but I still do have some adult beanies, not a lot in stock. I probably will end up doing some more Addy hats just because my Addy knitting machine, I can whip some up really quick. Um, but as far as the velvet beanies, I got three in white, two in pink, one in frosted pine, one in green, 
one in navy, and then those Addy hats, I've got 12 total. I've got two fluffy pillows, which I also have a pattern for that. Um, and by the way, if you're interested in Addy knitting machines, I do have a video on how to make your own Addy knitting machine beanies that are super cute and easy for your craft shows. So I will link that down below as well. <laughs> Let's see, for baby size stuff, we've got newborn hats. So the velvet newborn hats, we've got six in gray, four in navy, five in cream, and eight in quiet pink. For the toddler size beanies, we've got five in cream, seven in gray, and one in pink. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> Headbands for the toddler size. I've got one pink, one frosted pine, one gray, and one white. So I don't have any actually in baby size headbands. I don't have any baby headbands. I should probably make some of those because I have zero. Um, as far as the child size headbands, I've got two in quiet pink, one in soft pink, three in white, one in purple, and one in green. I've got two Christmas trees. I've got to make more of those before my Christmas show for sure. I've got three bees and they're blue bees and I want to make more yellow ones. So that's definitely on my list of things to try to last second prep before my season starts. I've got one bunny snuggler. I've got one unicorn snuggler. I had more snugglers, but they sold at my last show, which is a good thing, but now I feel like don't really have very many right now. I've got 39 chickens, so quite a few chickens, and those usually do really well, so I'm hoping that I sell most of those during my fall markets, but if I have some left over, I'm sure they'll make great uh, sellers at my Christmas show because they make really cute gifts. Uh, we've got 31 ghosts, so I'm pretty proud of all those ghosts we've got, and then let's see, the pumpkins. I've got so many different sizes of pumpkins, so many different textures. I really need to go through and come up with prices for all of them. But right now I have an extra large size, a large size, a medium, small, extra small, and extra, extra small. <laughs> so a lot of sizes here. For the extra large, I've got five of those. The large, I got seven. Medium, I have 15. Small, I have 12. Extra small, I have three. And the extra, extra small velvet ones, which by the way, I do have a free tutorial for those on the YouTube channel. I've got 30 of those. So I've got a decent number of the mini ones. Uh, I've got decent number of the other ones too if you add it all up but if I have time I could probably make a couple more pumpkins and yeah that is my inventory so I suppose I should tally up how much all of this is total and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I'll do that really quick and then and then I'll let you know how many items and we'll see if your guess at the beginning was anywhere close to this there's a lot here let me tally it up and I'll let you know Here's the final number. I added all of the inventory that I tracked together. As far as how many items I have, like individual items, 448 items, which is crazy. That is a lot of stuff here. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty proud of myself for prepping all of that. Of course, there's some gaps in my inventory. There's always going to be, there's always going to be things that I'm like, I could have more of those. It would be great if I had more of those, but I just got to be happy with what I've got because this feels like a lot it's gonna last me through at least a few markets I hope and I'm super excited to keep you updated in those upcoming market vlogs so definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already seriously if you haven't subscribed already first of all it really really helps me out and if you got any value from this channel at all I would so so appreciate it it's actually one of my big goals to grow the YouTube channel more so I really appreciate you if you can do that for me but also it will benefit you because it will let you know when I am posting posting more videos and I've got some really exciting ones coming up. So I'm super excited for you to subscribe if you're not already and definitely comment down below if you guessed right. If you guessed 448 items in my inventory at the beginning when I said guess how many items I have, then you are, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I did. I had no idea and it was my stuff. So, but anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out and I would love to keep hanging out with you, my friend, in this video right here. Bye!